Today, Property Name Brothers is back in District 20 and we are heading up to Nuovo. Alright, so if you are entering... <laughs> Sorry, sorry. A 3 plus study unit standing at 1,421 square feet. Nuovo. <laughs> Fully renovated, located between two MRT stations. Let's go and check it out. So to give you guys a bit of brief background on the project information here So Nuovo was completed in 2004 and it's a 99 year lease home starting from 2001 and it's developed by CEL property So Nuovo was originally an EC and as of today it's already fully privatised and what this means for you is that if you're a Singaporean or a PR or even a foreigner you're all eligible to buy into this beautiful project right here Nuovo itself there are a total of 297 units spread across 3 blocks of 17 storeys high and we believe that Nuovo is catered towards large families who really enjoy having space as within this project itself, you can only find 3 beta units, 3 plus study or a 4 plus study layout. The unit that we are standing in today is a 1,421 square feet 3 plus study layout so in total, you get 3 bedrooms, 2 bathrooms, an additional WC as well as a dedicated study space. So this whole house has also been renovated. Um, this is definitely worth about $150,000 in terms of renovation costs. And I think it's so well done in terms of the renovation and so well maintained that in fact, if you take a look at all the hinges later on, they are still in good condition. Where exactly is Nuovo located at? If we take a look at the map, Nuovo is actually just 6 to 7 minutes walk away to Yochukang MRT and we are also just 9 minutes walk away to Lentor MRT. So with these two MRTs at your doorstep, I think you can definitely easily connect to the rest of Singapore. In fact, it only takes you 15 minutes by the north-south line from Yochukang MRT all the way to Orchard MRT itself. And let's say if you'd like to transfer for the Circle Line, Bishan MRT is just two stops down. And in future, just one stop down at Amokyo Station, there will be the upcoming cross island line which also means that you will be able to connect to the east side of Singapore a lot quicker right and if you're heading towards the Lantau MRT station where the Thompson East Coast line is so we believe that the projects along this Amokyo Avenue 9 will definitely see an increase in demand as well all right so Nuovo is also located in District 20 and District 20 in fact if you take a look at the zoning map we are just one zone across away from the CCR region so this also means that we are in a central location and definitely if you are driving the highways are are all easily accessible which can then connect you to the rest of Singapore and in future the north-south corridor will also be coming towards the Yochukang town itself and what that means is that you'll be able to connect from the north side to south side of Singapore easily so from there you can connect to the north side of Singapore example like Woodlands or even all the way down to the east coast area Nuova is also highly sought after by families who are planning for their kids education then the one kilometer mark itself we have two very reputable primary schools so the first one is Anderson Primary School which is actually just right next to us right, So literally if your kids are going to school they just need to pop up by the main gate turn right and they will be at the primary school itself and just a few streets down we also have Mayflower Primary School In line with the latest news there's going to be more vacancies available for kids living within the 1 km mark Right, so our owners have already installed this nice TV feature wall which is also integrated with storage spaces at the back So I think this is a great place for you to hide all your books or perhaps any loose items to keep your house in a clutter-free state Across, we already have a 3-seater sofa seated in I think definitely if you're going for a 5 or even a 6-seater, that's definitely no issue We have a good amount of space still um, in fact, if you want to, you can always add on maybe two more seaters on this side or even on that side of the living hall as well. If you're into gardening, I think this is a perfect spot for you to have all your plants here. So now let's head over to the dining area. I think we also have a really spacious dining hall itself. This is actually your dedicated dining space and technically on this side, it used to be the study room but owners have already removed it to have this enlarged living area but of course in future, if you want to have that back, um, that's definitely possible. So right Right now, this is fitted in with a 6-seater but if you're going for a 10-seater, I think that's also no issue. Alright, so if you're planning to have this as your home office or perhaps a study space, then I think what you can do is to remove all these cabinetries and then just reinstate with either walls or even glass doors to create back this study room. 
So the kitchen is also enclosable. You already have the sliding doors done up. Uh, it's also done in a half glass fashion manner, which also means that you can look out to your children while they're still doing all your meal preps over here. Right, so the whole house has been fitted with quality fitting. So for example, just in your kitchen itself, all your cabinets actually come with bloom system. And so what this means is that you probably do not need to replace any of the hinges anytime soon. Alright, so on my left, we have your induction cooker together with your hood and they're both from Electrolux itself and in fact, on the right, we also have your integrated oven also from Electrolux. So definitely lots of meal prep spaces for you. There's, I think there's plenty of sufficient countertop space. Uh, you also have a dual sink for all your dishes. In fact, you've got this extra pocket over here. So let's say if you really need a bit more meal prep space, what you can do is to add in more shelvings and countertops over here. So this place is reserved for your fridge and I think it can definitely pretty much fit in any size. Heading in is actually your service yard area. So this is your dedicated laundry area. In fact, you can hang your clothes either inside, outside. Um, there are two spaces for you outside as well. And we also have your bomb shelter on my left, which also can double up as either a helper's room. And you also have an additional WC at the back. Uh, let's say you have a lead-in helper. So now let's head back out and talk a bit more about the stack analysis as well as the floor plan comparison in the area. So in Nuovo itself, there are two main kind of facing you can find. So you're either facing towards the east or facing towards the west. Right, so usually developers tend to give the bigger units the premium facing. So all the smaller units are actually facing towards the west side so towards the school area and for the bigger flats such as the 4 plus study they are all facing towards the east side they are located in stacks 11, 8 and 5 and for the 3 plus study they are located in stacks 17, 14 and 2 so we are in stack 14 so this also means that we will be getting the morning sun facing uh, which also then overlooks into the pool facing as well as along Amokyo Avenue Alright so there are 5 types of floor plans in Nuovo itself so type E and B belongs to the 3 meter layout so they are standing at 1119 square feet to 1281 square feet and we have type C and D which belongs to the 3 plus study layout so they stand at 1389 square feet and 1421 square feet and the last one is type E which is the 4 plus study standing at 1550 square feet so our unit is the 3 plus study unit at the 1421 square feet and the main difference between our layout with type C is that we are of a larger size unit at 1421 square feet and we have a regular layout versus the type C layout where your master bedroom comes with a curved window alright so if you're looking for a 3 plus study layout standing at 1421 square feet with no options with regular and efficient layout then I think that our unit here will be suitable Alright, so now let's go and check out the bedrooms. So this is the first common bedroom. All your bedrooms are super good size. In fact, all your common bedrooms itself, you can definitely fit in a king size bed comfortably. So right now, this is actually just a single bed, but if you're going for a queen or even up to a king, I think you have plenty of space to play around with. So you still got ample of space for your study table. Your wardrobes have already been nicely fitted in on that side of the room. Right, so ceiling fan as well as the aircon has already been placed in your bedroom. So in fact, your second common bedroom is just a mirror image of your first common bedroom. So same thing, you can easily fit in a king size bed in your room itself. Your wardrobes are also already done up and all our rooms are actually facing towards the pool view and so your bathroom is also fitted with quality fitting so for example all your taps as well as the shower set is actually from Hans Grohe right so your entire bathroom has also been fully renovated so for example from your floor tiles all the way up to your wall tiles has already been changed out and they're also done in a darker tone to give a more luxurious feel Before we check out the master bedroom, let's just talk about the price comparison in the area and what are some of the key developments that's going to be happening around here. Alright, so now let's take a look at the landscape of the Amokyo area. So predominantly, you have two main areas. First one is towards Amokyo MRT, where we have Grandeur 8 as well as Central Residences. Grandeur 8, TOP 2005, a 99-year lease for project. The three beds there are standing at 1194 square feet and they are asking an average of 1002 odd PSF. Central residences, TOP in 2014. The three beds there are standing between 904 square feet to 1206 square feet and their PSF is approximately 1006 odd all the way up to 2000 odd. And that's only natural because they are located just right beside the MRT station itself. 
and we move downwards to where Yio Chu Kang MRT is, uh, we can find another enclave for projects. So for Castle Green, the three bidders are standing between 1152 square feet to 1216 square feet and their average asking PSF is at 1000 odd all the way up to 1002 odd. And for Seasons Park, three bidders standing at 1292 square feet. The asking is approximately 998 PSF. We also have Carol's Freehold in Nature, TOP in 2007. The three bidders there are standing at 1238 square feet and it's an average asking PSF of 1004 odd. So our unit being the youngest kid on the block, we are only asking at $1.49 million. So standing at a 1421 square feet size, that puts our PSF at 1000 odd range. If we we'll zoom out and take a look at the new launches performances for 99 year leasehold projects in the three zonings, the OCR is ranging between 1004 all the way up to 2000 odd, the RCR is ranging from 1007 all the way up to 2001 odd, and CCR from 2008 all the way to 3002 odd PSF. And of course, when these homeowners like to exit in the future, they will be looking at a potentially new PSF of approximately 200 to 300 increase upwards again which would then be the new property benchmark. Alright, so if you're entering something that is at 1000 odd PSF today, we believe this is a very safe entry price as there's still lots of room to grow in terms of price appreciation. Alright, so now let's head into your master bedroom. So master bedroom, really great size, it's super spacious. So right now we already have your king size bed frame done up together with your side cables. Uh, we also have your dedicated study table. So similarly, we are also facing towards the pool area. We will be getting lots of great wind ventilation. So your bedrooms all come with parquet flooring and in your living and dining space, that's all done up in European top. Over here, you already have your built-in walk-in wardrobe which is done with seven panels worth of wardrobe space. So I think that's pretty solid sufficient for all your clothes. In fact, at the back, you also have your dresser table area. So on my left is your bathroom area, which I think is a really great spot as it's tucked away at the back in the corner. So after your shower, you can just easily head out over here to get dressed. And I think this is a really private corner. All right, so the owners have also done up ample storage space underneath your sink as well as behind your mirrors. So I think there's ample storage space for you to keep all your toiletries. Alright, so last but not least, let's talk about the facilities as well as the amenities in our area. You have a full-fledged condo facilities, meaning that you'll be getting your pools, your gym, your tennis court and more. And so for amenities in the area, so just across the streets, we have lots of coffee shops, including the popular Block 628 Amokyo Wet Market. And if you're in for a drive, you can always head down to Sembawang Hills Food Centre as well and the shop houses located in that area for more food options. So now let's take a deeper dive into the master plan development in the area. Alright, so just at Lantau itself, there's already at least 10 upcoming residential plots and that's integrated together with the beautiful Hillock Park. Uh, so that also means that you'll be getting more communal spaces in the area. And if we take a look at Lantau Central, there were 9 developers who paid for a bid for that piece of land. And right now it's awarded to Guapo Land and it's slated to be completed in 2022 with an estimated launch price of 2,000 odd PSF and upwards. So this definitely creates a huge disparity gap between the Lantau Central area with the current projects around us right now. So definitely entering a project at 1,000 odd PSF is a safe entry benchmark. And in fact, we think that District 20 is prime for growth. Uh, if you want to find out more, you can always head on to our Insights page. Right, so we'll take a look at the master plan versus the current street directory. If you notice, all the forested areas are zoned residential already. And that's definitely a huge plot of land to create a brand new township. And we believe with the brand new township, uh, that will set your new property price benchmark in the area. And right across us, there's also a plot of land reserved for healthcare facilities. So perhaps you are planning to rent out this home in the near future. This will definitely help to boost up your rentability as well. Alright, so if you're after a great size home standing at 1421 square feet for a 3 plus study unit located within minutes walk to the MRT station and you want to enter at a very safe entry price of 1000 odd PSF, with all the exciting key developments that's going to be happening around in the area. So do come and check out this unit with our listing manager. The contact details are in the link below. So don't forget to like and subscribe to all our channels. We are available on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram as well as TikTok. My name is Kaylin Leong, Property Lim Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. <laughs> you say right? Oh man!
right? So we believe that this unit here is packed with a lot of good stuff. Huh? Start already. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I always forget what I say. Okay, okay. 